Welcome to my channel. I put out new watercolor videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Today we're going to learn how to paint this tree frog in watercolor. This is a super easy, quick, and beginner friendly tutorial. I'll use a combination of watercolor paint and sticks, but you can definitely just stick to one or the other. If you want to see how this is done, stay tuned. As always, all supplies are listed in the description below and a PDF of both the line drawing and a reference photo can be found down there as well. Let's jump into it. Let's begin with the eyes. I'm going to begin with a concentrated mix of pyro scarlet and use it to paint the majority of the frog's irises. I'm also going to use a concentrated mix of Hansa Yellow Deep to create a thin line around the frog's pupil. It really adds to the effect of the eye, so take care not to paint over this section with your red paint. Next I'm going to go in with a concentrated mix of ivory black and fill in the frog's pupils. I'm also going to use this mix to lightly outline the entirety of both of the frog's eyes. From here I'm going to begin to work on the frog's body. I'm seeing quite a bit of texture on the skin so I'm going to use a stippling technique and a number 8 round brush to replicate that on my painting. I'm going to use a milky mixture of ultramarine blue and Hansa yellow deep to create my green tone and begin stippling around the frog's eyes and face. From here I'm going to move down into the body and stipple this mixture in wherever I see texture, specifically on the frog's legs.
Next, I'm going to work on the frog's underbelly. In the reference photo, I'm seeing some gray, yellow, and cream tones. To replicate this, I'm going to start with a milky mixture of buff titanium, and I'm going to go in wet and wet. I'm going to lay this color all over the frog's underbelly. Next, I'm going to go in with some ivory black and drop it in wherever I see shadows or darker tones. Now I'm going to move down into the feet. I'm going to mix my Pyrrol Scarlet and Hansa Yellow Deep and dilute it down to a watery orange mixture. I'm going to lay this color down on all four feet. Now that it's dry, I'm going to go back in and define my values of the underbelly a bit further. I'm going to add a bit more buff titanium and ivory black until it looks just like the reference photo. Now I'm going to go back into the green mixture we used earlier to create texture on the frog. It's dry on my palette at this point, so I'm going to add just enough water to get it moving and apply it all over the green areas and textures I painted earlier. Next, I'm going to work on the blue portions of the legs. I'm going to mix up a watery mixture of indigo and lay it down anywhere I see this blue on the reference photo. This initial wash will wet down the paper enough so that we can continue to build values wet and wet. Now I'm going to work on defining the values and separation in the frog's feet. Using the same orange mix as earlier, only slightly more concentrated, I'm going to lay in the darker sections, specifically between and around the frog's toes. The green on the frog's legs and body isn't quite dark enough for me, so I'm going to lay down another layer of the same green mix as earlier.
All right, now that we have that green down, I can see that the values on the feet need to be adjusted. So let's go back in with the same orange mixture and build up our values even further. I'm going to complete this same process with the blue portions of the legs, mix up some more indigo and further define my values. I'm going to continue to lay down layers of color all over the frog, using the same mixtures until I'm happy with my values. At this point, I'm happy with how the frog is coming along, but I want the colors to be a bit more vibrant. I want them to pop a little bit more. I could continue to use paint and build up my layers, but instead I think I'm going to switch to my Caran d'Ache water soluble crayons. This will help me brighten things up quickly. Okay, that's looking really good. At this point, I'm gonna move down into the shadow. I'm gonna start by wetting down the entire shadowed section, and then I'm gonna drop in ivory black, working from a diluted mix up to a concentrated mix to define my values. Getting darker where the frog meets the surface it's sitting on. Now I'm going to go in and make any final adjustments and sign my name. All right, we're all done. I love how this little guy turned out. Let me know in the comments below if you followed along. Thank you so much for watching this video and please consider subscribing to see more tutorials like this. See you in the next one. Bye.